So here's the solutions for the January the 2nd 5 a day foundation. So the first question is 3 quarters subtract 1 third. So for 3 quarters subtract 1 third we want to get a common denominator. Because it's 3 and 4 the first number in both of the times tables is 12. So let's go for 12s. So multiplying both of the numerator and denominator of 3 quarters by 3 would give us 9 twelfths. And multiplying both the numerator and denominator of 1 third by 4 would give you 4 twelfths. And if we subtract them, well, it's going to be 5 twelfths. Next question, 3 quarters plus 4 sevenths. Well, again, we want a common denominator, and in this case, we're going to go for 28. It's the first number in both the 4 times tables and the 7 times tables. Um, so multiplying both the numerator and denominator of uh, 3 quarters by 7 would give us 21 uh, 20 eighths. And multiplying both the numerator and denominator of 4 sevenths by 4 would give us 16 20 eighths. Now if we add them together, add the numerators would give us 37 20 eighths. And then just changing that into a mixed number would be 1 and 9 20 eighths. Okay, next question. Uh, next question we've been asked to find the value of the angle x. So here we've got a triangle and it's x, x and 2x minus 20. Well, all these angles will add together to be 180. So if we add the algebraic terms up, it will equal 180. Well, let's add it up. So we've got x plus 2x plus x would be 4x's and we've got minus 20. So we just need to solve this equation. Add 20 to both sides. Well, that'll be 4x equals 200. And divide both sides by 4 will give us x equals 50 degrees. Okay, our next question. Here we've got the angle of 123 degrees, and we've got the angle beneath it, the corresponding angle, and that's going to be the same. So the size of the angle marked x is 123 degrees, and the reason is they're corresponding. Make sure you call it corresponding and not an f angle, okay? It's a corresponding angle. Okay, our next question. We know that n is an integer, and we know that 3n is bigger than 14, but it's less than or equal to 21. Well, if we divide through by 3 here, what we're going to get is we're going to get 4 and 2 thirds is smaller than n, which is smaller than, uh, smaller than or equal to 7. Now we want all the integer solutions, well, that's going to be 7, it'll be 6, and it'll be 5. So n equals 5, 6, or 7. Okay, and finally, the question says calculate the circumference of the circle. So the circumference is equal to pi times diameter. Well, that's going to be pi times 6. And pi times 6, well, you could leave it as 6 pi centimeters. Or if you do 6 times pi in your calculator, you'll get that's equal to roughly, sorry, if you do 6 times pi in your calculator, you're going to get that's roughly equal to 18.85 centimeters. And that's it.